what's up gang we are back with another wash day video and today is going to be real simple easy anyone can follow a long chill wash day okay we see the afro we see what the hair is already looking like um if you watched last week's video first of all shout out to you and second of all you know i need the comeback like i know today the goal is juicy curls because that was not last week's case yeah no dry wash and goes that's just i can't do it now even though i know every wash day is not gonna be like the best i you know nine times out of ten want good hair like who doesn't want a good hair day you feel me i am gonna go through some of the comments i'm gonna go through every single comment that i got on the video last week um because there's not a lot but shout out to those people that comment because i love when y'all comment really my hair day is so simple you can see what i'm doing and like i show you literally every single thing that i do there's just small cuts just to like make the video a little bit shorter but all in all like the what you're seeing in the video is what i did the first comment that i would love to talk about is this one right here it is a bit lengthy but i appreciate the longer comments the most and basically what this person was getting at was that they don't watch a lot of product review videos because of this reason for dry wash and goes because trying new products tends to lead to dry hair and if you really want to experience the full benefits of products that you should continue to use the same ones and i totally agree to a certain extent so i guess not totally but hear me out last week the only thing i was trying new was a shampoo when i am trying new products i really try to keep it to a minimum because i agree if you're just putting new products like several different new products in your hair every single week i i do not see the benefit in that i like to use products that i know are going to work for me for example in this video if you know you know i've been using this shampoo and this deep conditioner for a minute and this is my second bottle i've used these products multiple times in multiple videos because i'm not about to risk my hair trying new products for y'all every week that's dead and plus the point of this channel is for me to teach those who want to know how i I do my hair and like how I honestly do my hair and it's not always buying new products which is one reason why I'm not doing a lot of brand deals or brand ambassador programs or any sponsorships this is me hesitating getting back in the shower because y'all it was thundering and storming outside and my friend told me that you cannot take showers when it's thundering outside. I was just a little scared, but I had to get my hair done, okay? Now, I'm gonna get back to comment number one, but let me talk about comment number two really quick. This person was talking about maybe it was the trim, exposing your ends, releasing all that moisture, and because I didn't add a leave-in or some type of oil afterwards, I did not keep any of that moisture inside. I actually did touch on in the video last week, I should have used a leave-in. I always use a leave-in. There's been a couple of times I haven't, but like, a leave-in conditioner is gotta be one of my favorite products i just love a good leave-in conditioner it leaves your hair soft it leaves your hair moisturized in this case i use the curl love by camille rose a trusted product honestly every single product that i used in this video today is a product i've been using for years these products just have not let me down especially if i know i want to get a really good wash and go a good hair day juicy curls i'm gonna use products that i know work for me like this person said i actually realized the products that i used last week had no type of oils in them and this curl milk has oils in them i do not use oils separately but i do like to use products that have oils in them my hair seems to love it so you know i'm not gonna deny that for my hair comment number three kind of goes with comment number two again no leave-in my hair already looked dry which is something i noticed too you can see my hair here looks way more moisturized before i even apply my styling products compared to last week my hair was looking so dry and that the gel has protein and the mousse doesn't provide moisture and you know that combo was just kind of a recipe for disaster even though i think using miss jesse's leave-in with it would have helped but 
I agree with you. I think that combo, you know, maybe I should have did a deeper dive into the ingredients and how well that was going to mix. Yes, very moisturizing deep conditioner is needed, like the one I used today. And styling on soaking wet hair is also a must, especially for wash and goes. So yes, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the comments. Completely agree. Now back to comment number one. Now where I don't 100% agree is not using new products. Let me tell you why. So I've been a natural for a couple of years now. I'm not even gonna try to do the math, but I know when I first started doing my natural hair, the products I was using then, and those products do not work for me now like the first initial products i was really getting into they just don't i'm not gonna say all of them because again like the products in this video i've been using for years but there are some products when i first started doing wash and goes that i no longer use because i think my hair i'm learning that my hair changes to kind of agree with comment number two a little bit more whenever i get a haircut whenever i trim my hair my pattern my texture it changes just so very slightly or even a lot like i got a haircut a while ago and i you should you know watch that video if you haven't after that haircut my curl pattern was not the same and my hair reacts differently to products that i've been using for such a long time a really great example this particular wash and go i did the same wash and go for a girl's trip in houston and my hair did not frizz up which is crazy to me and i was like oh my god like this is a humidity defying wash and go oh my god i'm gonna i'm gonna use it every time i need to like you know if i go somewhere it's humid <laughs> Real quick, shout out to the Jasmine Sullivan listeners. I gotta say, she's one of my favorite artists and it's R&B music all day, every single wash day. Um, Yeah, no, I tried this wash and go right before I went to New York and even though the wash and go turned out really great, my curls were juicy, my hair was moisturized, my hair got so frizzy from the moisture in the air and it was raining, even though it was raining in Houston too. And my hair just completely acted differently and maybe it's maybe it is maybe it's not related to the trims and the haircut but just as we age our hair just it goes through different phases and it changes and it reacts differently to different products so i say all of that to say sometimes you do need to go try new products it's going to become necessary to switch it up sometimes again doing it every single week being a product junkie is definitely not necessary. I would not qualify myself as a product junkie. I do not have a product shelf and I probably never will just because I I just, I, it's too much for me. I cannot have my own product store in my house. I just, this is, is a no for me. Because that exact reason, I like using products that work for me. And yes, making a channel has kind of opened up my willingness to try new products just because you know I don't want to keep using the same products but at the same time if something works for me I'm gonna tell y'all okay I've been using this melanin hair care shampoo for the past couple videos because it is just that good it is just that good I want to be a channel that is so authentic to the point like okay she I've seen this shampoo in her videos a couple of times like she must love it and yes that is exactly what it is before i even finished my hair i could already tell the difference in how my curls were looking how shiny my hair looks how bouncy it looks um, and how full it looks too. I feel like my hair was looking a little see-through last week with that mousse. But I think, I, I definitely learned some lessons. If I'm learning, hopefully someone watching is learning. Since the beginning of this curly hair journey, I have been learning, okay? I have been, I, I've had some really, really dry, bad washing goes, but I've also had some really, really good ones. And 
I don't know what keeps me going, but I'm still going. I'm still motivated to do my hair every week even if I had a bad week last week and I just appreciate my hair I love my hair I'm glad that I have the ability to show it love and show it care this particular wash day told me go back to what works go back to the basic techniques that really made the difference in your hair go back to the products you know that work and that's what I did this wash day. Hopefully you can kind of see what I did in the video, but if not, I can always do a detailed, you know, how I really perfect my wash and go. Even though my hair was really frizzy, it still was cute. Here's some really cute photos that I got in New York. It was frizzy, it was so humid, it was raining, but my hair was still moisturized. Sometimes a little bit of frizz is not that bad, and we gonna get through it. We love an afro anyways. That is all I got for y'all. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you stay till the end. Shout out to the ones that comment last week, and you might as well drop a comment if you're hearing this right now. Until next week, I will see y'all later. Deuces!